and I'm Nick, and this is Cat Micro TV. And everyone, we're here with Brian Boyle, partner manager for HP. Hi, Brian. Hi. Nice Good to meet morning. you. Good morning. Nice Good to meet morning. you guys. Thank you. So Brian, uh, tell us kind of how HP uh, sets itself apart in the market from all the other printers that are out there today. Well, what we're showing here is our multi-jet fusion printer. So this has been four or five years in development and released this year. Uh, the uniqueness about this and what differentiates us is it's twice as fast as other printers, other 3D printers, at half the cost. So it's not a, a typical 3D printer that you might find on a desktop. It's really designed for digital manufacturing. We're reshaping the way uh, things are manufactured. Perfect. Great. So Brian, why don't you just go ahead and give us a bit of a rundown on what we're looking at? Yeah. I'd be happy to. So there's actually three components to the system. This uh, unit that I have right here is called the build unit. So this contains all the material where the actual uh, parts and the plastic are uh, created. And uh, it's part of a three system. Uh, there's a processing station that loads this and does some post-processing. But the magic is actually done in the printer, which is uh, behind us here. Let's go ahead and take a walk. Yeah. So the great thing about this is it's simple to use. I mean, anybody can use it. All of the uh, the powder and the plastic is loaded into the, the uh, build unit. You slide it into here. It gets leveled and gets locked in. And this is when the magic starts. So the plastic is preheated with these, these lamps that you see up here. And once it's preheated, it starts the printing process, and it's so cool. The printing is done by this platen going back and forth. And what it does is it dispenses two agents. One's a fusing agent, which attracts heat. The other's a detailing agent, which doesn't attract the heat. So the, de the uh, fusing agent actually creates the plastic. So it sprays that. The heat from high-intensity lamps here melt the plastic, and that's where we get the multi-jet fusion. It's actually fusing the plastic. The part that doesn't get the uh, uh, bonding agent is a detailer, and that's where you get the voids and just remains as powder and doesn't fuse. Once it's done, you'll be notified. You open the door, you slide the build unit out, and you place it in what's called a processing station. And the processing station will cool it, it will recapture all the unused powder, and after uh, that, you can load another build unit with some of the recycled powder and just continue with the process. And the goal is to do actually do manufacturing with this versus prototyping, which a lot of 3D printers are doing now. They can't handle this type of capacity. It's that simple. Brian, these are some of your finished parts, right? That is correct. Okay, so take us through some, some of the parts here. Yeah, so these are these are all very unique, all fascinating, but uh, what I really like to show is a lot of these parts that you see here were actually are actually used in the machine itself. Okay. So the machine makes its own parts. Wow. A lot of things that you see here uh, where this part actually rotates within was a single print. This wasn't put together and for other manufacturing, uh, injection molding, casting, things like that, you wouldn't be able to do this. Um, some of the detail, uh, a, you know, an arm uh, brace, this was all a single print and it just uh, unhooks here and I could use this as a cast or a brace wow. and I could have gotten the file from a doctor's office, printed it locally and had it delivered the next day. Wow. And it's, you know, it's durable reliable. What I also like to show is this. So you look at this and this is a Bluetooth uh, housing for a Bluetooth speaker. Okay, nothing special. Okay, I can do that on a lot of technologies. What I can't do is these were basically two prints. This print here actually has a working on off switch. There was no assembly required here. This was actually done one print, two prints, and now I, I put my electronics in and I have a Bluetooth speaker. Okay, so I have one question. You mentioned turnaround time. Yes. What's your typical turnaround time? Does it matter on the size of the part? Yeah, it, it, so it's a great okay. question. So twice the speed, I can fill this unit, which is 15 inches high, full of parts. Print those in about 10 hours. So the cooling time on that is also about 10 hours. It may seem like a long time, but in the world of 3D, it really isn't. And the reason that we have to cool it slow is with plastic, we don't want to have anything um, being bent or crooked or something like that. But the nice thing is, when it's printing uh, a large part, you know, if it was, you know, say printing this part here, 
It just doesn't print this part. The software and the intelligence and the device will position these and pack this unit in a very efficient manner. So while it's, fitting, while it's printing this, because it's going layer by layer, it would also put something like this inside. So I'm utilizing the full build. I'm not, I don't have separate pieces. And you look and you say, well, how, that's, how would that be done? It's very simple. The part that's plastic is getting the fusing agent. The part that, you know, like these holes and where this is close here would get uh, detailing and it would just be a little uh, uh, powder actual space in there. That's great. Here we have some other pieces like a uh, dental uh, imprint where you could use a trans you could use this as a mold for a transparent uh, uh, brace right uh, which are so popular these days you know here is a, a another impression a mouth guard these are all unique pieces and you know with this technology you wouldn't print just one of these you'd print maybe hundreds or thousands of these and then you know do it in a, a pretty expedient manner. So a lot of different applications. A lot here. of different applications and so anything that's unique yeah, that's um, that would be very costly for me to injection mold because of its uniqueness or maybe print in another fashion. I can do it here and just sending the file right down, basically skipping the middleman and printing it and having manufacturing right here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Thank Ryan. you very much for coming Talking by. This yeah, was this great. was great. This was thank great. you. Yeah, yeah my pleasure. pleasure. So, guys, if you'd like to learn more about HP, write to us at sales.cabmicro.com. Oh. And don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I'm Nick. I'm Sarah. We'll, we'll see, see you soon. soon.